What are you doing? Huh? Bad things under there. You don't touch those. Did you get yelled at? <laughs> Did you get yelled at by Uncle Rich? When I yell at Dixie, and Dixie gets, I say, you want a bath? And that dog tucks her ears, her tail, and goes right down to the ground. Um, do you have a napkin over there or no? Well, I just need a napkin. Yeah, give me a tissue. No, I want to throw out that cockroach or whatever it is. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, no, that is not good protein. That is not good protein. All right. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, well, uh, we almost couldn't get it started again when I was loading it on the truck. Yeah, but when I went to go push the starter pedal, nothing. You have to push it that extra inch. Right. You might want to tell him that. Okay. Oh, he has. Okay. We haven't shot this car? Right, but you just changed the color on the site. Do we need to shoot it for real or no? Okay. Now it's really nice looking in silver. Well, it just has great lines on it, and so you, don't, you lose so much of that when it's their dark colors. Okay, are we ready? Oh, God. Every shit. He is at a religious function. Yes. While he swears and smokes cigarettes and gambles, <laughs> he's at a religious function. Hey, everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining us on a piece of American history today. We're talking 57 Bel Air. Even if... Even if you're watching this video and you're like, wow, that's a cool car, maybe it wasn't my era, give me a second, let me walk you around this car, let me show you some stuff on this, and if by the end of the video you're like, wow, I need to get me one, then, uh, then I need to get you one. So let's go ahead and do that. So remember, this is the beginning of the jet age, right? We're going to look around here, we're going to see so many touches of how the jet age influenced the design of cars during this time. And although this car is not my era, I was uh, more in the muscle car era as I was growing up, this is probably my uh, top five favorite designs of any cars because they're so gorgeous, so many beautiful pieces of it. Let's spend a little time looking at it. And then you can have two completely different looks as well. So you can actually put the fender skirts on and have a classic look. And then you can also take the fender skirts off and put maybe a set of rally wheels on with a nice set of tires on there and have a completely different kind of hot roddy look once in a while. It's a great, great feature. That's why these cars uh, uh, continue to go up in value over time. This one right here, Sierra Gold paint. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful color. Just love the way this looks and the interior that goes with it. It's fabulous, all right? So come on up here. Let's take a quick look at the quality of the paint. Make sure you can read everything properly, and we'll start there. All right, so I want to talk about jet age styling, right? Clearly, you can see right here, uh, we have the fins of a jet, right, up front, which is interesting, right? Because here we have the intakes for the engine, for the jet engine, right? And here we have another side set of engines as well. This right here is pretty cool because it makes the car look like it's already moving forward. These little design features. The gold package, one of the best designs ever was the gold package put on these cars here, right? Awesome. Anyway, all new chrome and stainless around here because the, the front end of this car is so important, you have to do that. Back to the quality of the paint right here. You want to be able to read all the letters nice and crisp, right? Not just see the letters, but read them nice and crisp. The crisper the letter, the better uh, the quality of the paint. I want to take a second look under here because you're going to want to go to a car show, right? Or you're going to get stopped somewhere and people are going to ask you uh, questions about this car, right? And so the release is right here, okay? And you're going to open this up. We put new hinges on it so it would stay up, right? You want to make sure that's there. 
I put this battery topper on it. It's incorrect for the cars for a Ford, but I put it on here just to show you what it would look like. The one hadn't arrived yet. I just wanted you to see what a difference it makes from having a green topped battery in here versus kind of an original style looking battery. This has the original style oil bath air cleaner. Uh, even the valve, covers are stenc the valve covers are stenciled in silver in the Chevrolet script like they're supposed to be. This has the F stamp on the engine which makes it correct for the car, 283. And there's just a lot, a lot of room to work on the car here. It has the original generator still on the car. This is an original, original, original style car. You're going to go to a car show. Many cars won't have an original generator or the original engine or the original exhaust manifolds. Even, even the carburetor preheater tube is still on there functioning the way it's supposed to. I don't know. That's the kind of stuff, this fact that it's still around 70 years later, 70 years later, right? And still working is amazing to me. By the way, the fire extinguisher doesn't have to stay there. That was, you know, the person that owned this car was a little bit older and he was a safety person and he had it there. It comes right out. I just left it there so you could see it in there. If you wanted to keep it, you can. He's never needed it, but it was there. It's kind of like life insurance. You hope you ever need it, but it's there if you do. All right, so we finished up walking around the car, just looking at some of the styling. So the side itself with the stainless inserts is a styling touch that, that most other cars have never experienced. But anyway, we come back here and we see more of the jet age. We see the jet engine coming back here, new chrome bumpers, right? The gold package looks so good here, all right? And then one thing I like to tell everybody is that a lot of people don't know where the gas cap is in this car, and I like to make sure that you do this test when you have some friends come over. You say, listen, go out in the garage, I'll meet you out there in a minute. If you would, check the gas cap for me, make sure it's okay. You come out there 10, 15 minutes later, Everybody's still looking for the gas cap. Nobody knows where it is. And so I like to just point out where it is right here. Okay. And what a cool feature that's hidden right in here. So instead of messing up the sides of the car or causing these kind of problems where, with styling, they hit it right in here and just did a really, really great job. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and check the trunk here now. So this is, uh, this is nice. I want you to hear that for a second. This is nice. You know why? Because I open and close a lot of trunks in this. Just sounds great. All right, so in here, I was really impressed by this, and I just want to share with you why. For instance, it's all detailed in here, which is really nice. With the jacking instructions here, it has a spare, it has a jack. You say, well, Tom, what's the big deal about a spe uh, you know, spare tire and a jack? I say, here's the big deal, is that 99% of the cars never come with that stuff. Never. There's nothing back there. This has that. The fire extinguisher up front, this just tells you what the previous owner was really like. He was so fastidious. Here, extra paint, right? matching dice to hang on the mirror, a shop manual, right, so you know how to work on your car. I love to buy a car like this because that means that somebody cared. The painted fender skirts are here. They're wrapped in cloth, right? You can put them on for a different look. You can take them off if you don't want to use them. I don't know. It just seems to me like uh, when you see little things like that, it's just a better car in general, and they tend to drive better, operate better, because the person that owned this car wanted that for themselves. All right, so come join me inside here with my friends Stella and Steele. This is Americana, right? 1957. Six people, six people can come in this car. Two other couples, all the kids, whatever it is you want to go for a ride with. You want to just take some French friends with you, some French friends, right? Right? Look how comfortable these guys already love being in here. Anyway, Stella's here checking stuff out. But Stella, if you could go over there while I finish the rest of this, that would be great. Anyway, so they give you some gauges here, which is nice. A beautifully styled dash, original AM radio. What we do for a lot of people is hide the stereo uh, right in the glove box here. But little stuff, little stuff that's a big deal. Hear me now. The glove box light works. The glove box light works. Hey, Tony, isn't it supposed to? Of course it's supposed to, but 99% of restorations, they don't go for the effort of making sure that the glove box works. And what else? The clock is working as well, right? We're talking 1957. This is 2021 that we're doing this video, right? This is, uh, this is an amazing, amazing run for a vehicle like this. It's beautifully restored. It's just great looking. I, some other small features like this right here. This has these little grips here so you don't get your visors dirty. This wipes off for working people. This right here would allow you to pull that down without getting these dirty. If you look at the door handles, there's guards behind the door handles. Why are they there? They're called nail guards, so that when people got in the car, people with long fingernails didn't scratch the paint on the doors. A lot of people, these little detail stuff, 
This is the kind of stuff that you want to own this car and be able to tell people and show them uh, those kinds of things. We looked at a lot of detail when we looked around this car, all of the jet styling treatments, the, the level of detail when the trunk and all the extra paint and the manuals and stuff like that, detail underneath the hood, having the correct oil bath air cleaner and carburetor preheater hose, the clock working inside the car, right? Original AM radio, just little tiny things. Throw in the Sierra Gold and Indian Ivory two-tone, and this is a beautiful, beautiful car. Anyway, call us, 301-816. We'll tell you all about this, uh, this incredible 57 Chevrolet Bel Air. Don't forget to like the video if you would, please, and uh, share it with your friends. And let's uh, go for a test drive.